Hello everyone, this is Colton with POSGuys.com and today we're going to be doing a quick little video showing how you can change a Zebra uh, label printer from either direct thermal or thermal transfer. It's something we get a lot of requests for, so I thought I'd take the time to make a short little video showing you how it's done. So if you go to the link in the description below, you're going to see a um, link and it's going to bring you on over to this site right here. This is the download page for Zebra's Printer Setup Utility. And this is the tool that you can use to change any Zebra label printer with a couple exceptions uh, from direct thermal to thermal transfer and then back. So when you get to this page, you're going to scroll down here and we're assuming that you're going to be using a Windows device because that's what most of our customers are using. So you'll just press this and it'll bring you right down. And you're gonna to wanna to download whatever one uh, is right over here. Uh, so right here we have the Zebra Setup Utility. You'll download and you'll install that. Uh, and after it's installed, it's a relatively easy process. You'll uh, open it up and you'll get brought to this screen right here. And from here, you'll be able to uh, see all the different printers you have installed. So right here I have the ZD620, 300 DPI, super easy. Uh, you'll see on the um, kind of middle part here, kind of broken into these little tabs, you'll see one that says printer configuration, and then you'll see something that says configure printer settings. All you need to do from there is hit that, and you'll get brought up to the screen, hit next, next one more time, and then you'll see where it says print mode. Right now, the printer is set to thermal transfer, which requires the ribbon, of course, can do the uh, waterproof labels and whatnot. But if you wanted to go ahead and do that to direct thermal, you just hit that, hit finish, and hit close. And there you go. That's literally all it takes. Um, make sure when you're changing over your media that you're calibrating the printer uh, and make sure that that's all lined up. Uh, and that will wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, and if you have any other questions, feel free to call the number on the screen below uh, and we can help you get that sorted out. Thank you so much and take care.